Nayakas of Kaladi, also known as Nayakas of Bednor and Kings of Akari (1499–1763), were an Indian dynasty based from Kaladi in Shimoga district, Karnataka, India. They were an important ruling dynasty in post-medieval Karnataka. They initially ruled as a vassal of the famous Vijayanagar Empire. After the fall of the empire in 1565, they gained independence and ruled significant parts of Malnad region of the Western Ghats in present-day Karnataka, most areas in the coastal regions of Karnataka, and parts of northern Kerala, Malabar and the central plains along the Tungabhadra River. In 1763 AD, with their defeat to Hyder Ali, they were absorbed into the Kingdom of Mysore. They played an important part in the history of Karnataka, during a time of confusion and fragmentation that generally prevailed in South India after the fall of the Vijayanagar Empire. The Kaladi rulers were Lingayats but they were tolerant towards followers of other faiths. The Hilari kings of Kodagu who ruled over Korg between 1600 AD and 1834 AD were an offshoot of Kaladi Nayaka dynasty. The Nayaka clan Chaudapa Nayaka, originally Chauda Gauda was from a village called Palabailu near Kaladi. He was the son of Lingayat couple Basavapa and Basavamambe, who were into farming. He was the earliest chieftain to rule the area surrounding Shimoga, rose through self-capability and acumen and was a feudatory of Vijayanagara Empire. Sadashiva Nayaka was an important chieftain in the Vijayanagar Empire and earned the title Kotakulahala from Emperor Aliya Rama Raya for his heroics in the Battle of Kalyani. The coastal provinces of Karnataka came under his direct rule. He moved the capital to Akari some 20 km, from Kaladi. Sakana Nayaka succeeded Sadashiva Nayaka. Chika Sakana Nayaka was an opportunistic ruler who took advantage of the confusion in the Vijayanagar Empire following its defeat at Talakota and grabbed a few provinces in Uttara Kannada district. Rama Raja Nayaka Hariya Venkatapa Nayaka is considered by scholars as ablest monarch of the clan. He completely freed himself from the overlordship of the relocated Vijayanagar rulers of Panugonda. Italian traveller Pietro della Valle, who visited his kingdom in 1623, called him an able soldier and administrator. In his reign the kingdom expanded so that it covered coastal regions, Malnad regions, and some regions to the east of the western ghats of present-day Karnataka. He is also known to have defeated the Adilshahis of Bijapur in Hanagal. Though a Virashaiva by faith, he built many temples for Vaishnavas and Jains and a mosque for Muslims. He defeated the Portuguese in 1618 and 1619. Virabhadra Nayaka 1629 faced many troubles from the start, including competition from rival Jain chieftains of Malanad for the throne of Akari and invasion by the Sultanate armies of Bijapur. Akari was plundered by the Bijapur army during his time. Shivapa Nayaka is widely considered as the ablest and greatest of the Kaladi rulers. He was the uncle of Virabhadra Nayaka. Shivapa deposed his nephew to gain the throne of Kaladi. He was not only an able administrator, he also patronized literature and fine arts. His successful campaigns against the Bijapur sultans, the Mysore kings, the Portuguese, and other Nayakas of the neighbouring territories east of the Western Ghats helped expand the kingdom to its greatest extent, covering large areas of present-day Karnataka. He gave importance to agriculture and developed new schemes for collection of taxes and revenues which earned him much praise from later British officials. A statue of him and the palace built by him containing many artifacts of his times are reminders of the respect he has earned even from the present generation of people of the region. He destroyed the Portuguese political power in the Kanara region by capturing all the Portuguese forts of the coastal region. Chika Venkatapa Nayaka ruled for a short span of time after Shivapa Nayaka. Bhadrapa Nayaka (1662–1664) succeeded Chika Venkatapa Nayaka. Somishakara Nayaka I (1664–1672), the king who was once a good administrator, gave up his interest in administration after his association with a dancer named Kalavati. Barame Mavuda, a relative of Kalavati, slow poisoned the king, which eventually led to his death. 
Kaladi Chenama (1672–1697). She was an able ruler who some scholars claim was allied with the Maratha Shivaji and later his son Sambhaji to defeat all rival claimants to the throne. She gave shelter to Chhatrapati Rajaram when he fled from the Mughal army. Chenama of Kaladi is well remembered by local people through tales of her bravery. Basavapa Nayaka (1697–1714). He was a brave ruler and was adopted by Rani Chenamaji from their relative Markapa Shetty of Badanyarsamashakara Nayaka II (1714–1739). Kiriya Basavapa Nayaka (1739–1754). Chenna Basapa Nayaka (1754–1757), Queen Varamaji (1757–1763) was defeated by Hyder Ali, who merged the Kaladi Kingdom with the Kingdom of Mysore. The queen was captured by Hyder Ali and was kept in confinement along with her son in the fort of Madugiri. They were, however, rescued in 1767 when Madhavrao I of the Maratha Empire defeated Hyder Ali in the Battle of Madugiri. Later, they were sent to Pune, the capital of the Maratha Empire, for protection. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Decline and the End. For more than 200 years, the kingdom controlled the coastal and Malnad regions of present-day Karnataka and fostered a rich tradition of trade with the English, the Portuguese, and the Dutch. However, in the period of gloom brought about by the fall of the last great Hindu empire, the Vijayanagar Empire, constant wars—campaigns against local chieftains and the Mysore kingdom and the harassment of the Marathas finally drained the treasury and resulted in the end of the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> Literature Kannada Kaladinri Pavajayam by Lingana Shivagita by Tirumalabada Sanskrit Shivatatvaratnakara by King Basavapa Tattva Kazduba by Bhatoji Dikshita Ashvapandita by Manapriya Architecture The Kaladi Nayakas built some fine temples in Akari and Kaladi using a combination of late Kadamba, Hoysala, Vijayanagar, and Dravida styles. The use of granite for their construction shows they simply followed the Vijayanagar model of architecture. The Agorashwara temple at Akari and the Rameshwara temple at Kaladi are the best examples of the Nayakas art. Vijayanagar style pillars with hippogriffs are common, called Yali columns depiction of horses and lions as seen in Hampi is found here. These are pillars with lions, either with their forepaws raised or simply in a sitting position, and pillars with a mythical horse-like animal with front legs raised, balancing on its rear legs, and with an armed rider on its back which are worth seeing at a carry. A roof sculpture depicting a Gandabarunda, the mythical two-headed bird of Karnataka, is found in Kaladi. Also, in the Rameshwara temple, a pillar sculpture shows Maratha Rajaram with Kaladi Chenama history has it that Rajaram was protected by the queen when he was on the run from the Mughals. <inaudible> <inaudible> Religious tolerance The Kaladi Nayakas were Lingayats, patronized the religion, constructed numerous mutts and were responsible for the spread of Lingayatism to the Malinadu and coastal Karnataka. There were 64 mutts in the district of Dakshina Kannada alone. Nevertheless, they were tolerant towards followers of other religions and other Hindu denominations. The Kaladi Nayakas invited Qazi Mahmud who was a grandson of Chief Qazi of Adil Shahi Kingdom of Bijapur to settle in Bhatkal. The revenue of Tenjinagundi village was given to Kazi Mahmud. The Kazi family of Bhatkal is popularly known as Temunde family due the ownership of lands in Tenjinagundi. Many Nawayath Muslims were appointed in the administrative positions. The families of these nobles Nawayath still use their surnames as Akari and are mainly settled in and around Bhatkal. The Golden Colossa on the dome of Bhatkal Jamia Masjid popularly known as Chinata Pali meaning Golden Mosque is believed to be a generous gift from Kaladi rulers.
Topic Gallery. Topic See also. History of Karnataka Political history of medieval Karnataka